Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Puma here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about what to expect when the Galaxy Note 10 is launched. And we're able to see this by checking out the Samsung Galaxy A80. So the A80 is right in front of me here. And I wrote down eight different changes or improvements that is on this phone that is also going to be on the Galaxy Note 10. So we can get a better grasp of exactly what to expect when the phone is launched. So first off, it's going to be the 25 watt charging. So I just uploaded a video doing a charging test of the brand new brick uh, so this is what will come with the galaxy note 10 there's also going to be a rumor talking about how there is a bigger brick with 45 watt charging but you'd have to purchase that elsewhere and probably from the samsung website and everything else so it might cost you about 45 or 50 dollars to get even a faster charge than 25 watts but with this one the change in the upgrade is going to be that it is a type c to type c cable and then on the brick over here it's going to be obviously the type c right there to plug it on in so this will give you faster transfer speeds when you plug this into a computer and then the faster charging speeds as well um, on the brick itself instead of just saying you know fast charging the brick itself says super fast charging if you can see it right there on the brick uh, and so this one does go a little bit faster but that result is going to be in the video and i can place a link below this video if you guys want to see that charge test but it is just a little bit faster than the regular 15 watt charging now the next thing is going to be the bixby button so if you look at all the images of the Galaxy Note 10, the Bixby button is now gone and I was maybe hoping for maybe a squeeze to assist on the edge of the phones because the grip sensors are built into the Samsung phones, uh, but for some reason they didn't do that. Uh, and so they actually built it into the power key. So let me show you how that works. So with this power key right over here, when you do a press and hold, this is what brings Bixby to come out and, and be, you know, do its service and do everything it needs to do. Uh, and how you turn this on is with the quick settings on the very top so when you press and hold on the power key for Bixby uh, this is what it's going to look like it mentions that you can talk to Bixby just by pressing and holding and so you can tell Bixby what to do when you press and hold and then you can also access the power options through the very top of the phone so on the very top of the device you'll see where it has the power key right next to the settings and then when you hit on power this is how you can turn it off and turn it on and, and everything else and if you don't want it to you know do that you can basically just turn that off your power option on the top goes away and then now when you press and hold on the power key uh, it does go back to the normal standard screen from before now the other thing i also do want to mention is that because the the bixby key is gone and away uh, i also did notice and i hope that they did this with the galaxy note 10s because the screen uh size is huge it's basically right around the same as this one which is 6.7 inches so it's a pretty tall phone and so the power key is not going to be on the very top so as example with the galaxy s10 plus let's say that we put it right over here so this is the galaxy s10 plus uh, this is the a80 this is basically the same screen size and and weight of uh, basically the note 10 you can see that the power key is way up here uh, but right over here, it's going to be pretty much right in the center. So that is one of the nice things I do like about the A80 and that the Galaxy Note 10 should probably have is moving the power key down a little bit. And then this one over here was the S10 where you can see how it's quite a bit higher. Now let's talk about the speakers. And also this is the phone that is basically all screen. Um, I know that the Galaxy Note 10 will have uh, the little Infinity O display, the little Infinity cutout of the camera on the front. Um, because this one does rotate when it does pop out. But um, I believe the Note 10 should be having the sound on display. And so what's gonna happen is that when you get a phone call or you do anything from where you would normally hear the speaker on the top, it actually comes from the screen. So if I was to give myself a call right here, you might see a little thing pop up indicating where to put your ear. And so you will be placing your ear in the pretty much the middle of the phone uh, right there. And so uh, for some reason, the little image did not show up and it's because I've used it from before, but right there is where you place your ear. So you won't be placing your ear on the top uh, because there is no speaker grill on the top. You'll be placing it in the middle of the screen and the sound comes from here. Uh, but the one thing that I do have to say that is something that I, you have to just get used to. It's not the best sounding quality, you know, earpiece. When you go from a physical speaker on the top to sound vibrating from underneath the screen, it's not going to be as good. And I also noticed that when I was listening to music and I put on, you know, the speaker and everything and I'm, and I'm listening to it, there's only a speaker grill on the bottom of the phone. So really, you're not going to get the amazing Dolby stereo sound that was on the other devices unless if Samsung kept that small speaker grill on top, 
I don't know, but if they went with the sound on display or sound under display, then you'll have sound vibrations coming from this, the, the, the screen itself. But when you listen to music, it comes from the speaker grill on the bottom. So you don't have Dolby stereo sound. The only time that you have the Dolby stereo sound for audio and movies and things like that is when you plug in the headset that comes with the phone. Now these ones are just regular, you know, Samsung earpieces uh, that has type C on the bottom. So I'm hoping that the Galaxy Note 10 will come with something that's like AKG, something of better quality than this cheaper Samsung headset and it's a type C headset, but Dolby stereo sound will work at that moment in time when it is plugged in. So again, uh, when you're on phone calls, you got to place your ear in the middle of the phone instead of towards the top. Uh, and when you put them on speakerphone, it will come from the bottom. Uh, but when you watch YouTube and everything, you only have sound coming from the bottom of the device. But We'll see if Samsung changes that with the Note 10, but I, I highly doubt it. I think what we see here with the A80 is what we will also see with the Galaxy Note 10. Uh, the next one is going to be the live focus for video. So it's really cool. Um, you can do this with the front facing as well as the rear facing. So inside of the camera, you can see here, it says live focus for video. It's putting in the bokeh effect. Uh, so when you were doing those live focus photos where you're basically doing a DSLR image where this right here is in focus and everything else is not, it's the same thing, but with a video. And they did that. And I think they might have done it as well with the front facing camera too. So this one has the live focus video for the front facing camera. Uh, this is, this you won't see with your bait naked eye this is just a sensor for light and 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 everything else and so it's it's nothing that you would see with your own uh, human eyes this is just something that the the camera picked up but this one will have the live focus for video so it's the bokeh effect it's really cool you're able to look at your subject that's maybe uh three to five feet away they will be in focus but everything would not be in focus so let's look at a couple examples of what i just shot with the live focus video and you'll notice that with the dog videos they're in focus everything else is blurred when i went outside to the uh the stigo b1 uh it's a really cool electric bike and so it was staying in focus with the seat and everything else while everything um, around it was basically blurred out. So let's check out those videos. other things that you'll also learn about the Galaxy Note 10 is that it will not have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and that's because it already comes with a headset with USB type C on the bottom uh, so it's really no big deal unless if you spent a lot of money for something like that but you can just buy a little dongles on the internet and plug it in that goes type C to the normal 3.5 so you can use that and you're still be good to go uh, most people use Bluetooth anyways uh, and then the micro SD card slot will probably also be gone but that's because the internal storage of these phones are just gonna be improved so the Galaxy Galaxy Note 10 will probably have, you know, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage. The Note 10 Plus will have, you know, the 12 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of internal storage. And if you are worried about losing photos, you need to make sure that you're a part of Google Photos anyways. It's an application, it's pre-downloaded. Just go inside of your Google folder uh, and then click on photos. And then what you'll do is on the very top, you'll head inside of settings and underneath backup and sync, just make sure that you have your photos set up. It'll do the videos uh, when you're connected to Wi-Fi, um, but it's a uh, high quality photos and it's a free unlimited storage. So you really don't always look back at your old photos. And if you do, you just want to know that you have them. It's the peace of mind of having, you know, knowing that you have the photos and that's already on the Google photos. Now, the next one is this one that's called ultra data saving mode. And so it uses an application that's called Samsung Max. So let's say we go to the phone. If you open up the Samsung folder, you'll see where it says Samsung Max. Uh, so I don't know if this is part of the Note 10. I know that's part of this phone here. It is a unlocked device. So I don't know if it's just because it's unlocked or, or what have you. I am going to be playing with this just a little bit more. Um, but on the very top, you can see, you know, where there was the power modes and everything else. Uh, but you also have the ultra data saving. So it's not really something to save with your battery. It's something more for your data. And so maybe there's a way that you're able to pretty much uh, kind of 
watch out with everything. So now that it's enabled, uh, let's kind of go inside of here. Let's kind of see what it is. Um, it has a savings report, uh, save today, you know, all this other stuff. If we go on back, let's say that we go into this application here. Let's see if we can learn just a little bit more about what this application does. The ultra data saving mode is a way that you're able to save mobile data by compressing data and limiting data usage by applications. So you can turn on uh, the data saving mode here. And so once you do this, it kind of gives you a little bit of information there. Uh, it also talks about using the data compression. So you can turn on the ultra data saving mode uh, and, and basically all the information is also going to be right inside of here. I was trying to find another screen that kind of written this out just a little bit better, um, but I was not able to find that. Um, and then also to the very last one is going to be the size and also the weight. And so this one does have a 6.7 inch display and it's actually pretty heavy. And so I know that the Galaxy Note 10 is also very heavy. Uh, and so if you are curious on how heavy this one is, uh, but you're not able to get your hands on the A80, the other thing you are, you are able to do is just go to a T-Mobile or go to a Best Buy or somewhere that sells the OnePlus 7 Pro and pick up the OnePlus 7 Pro. This weight is literally the exact same as the A80, which is again also the same weight as the Galaxy Note 10 series. So this really was everything that I've found uh, to be true and be very true or very accurate or very close to being accurate about the Galaxy Note 10 devices. You know, what is my thoughts on this one so far? You know, if the Galaxy Note 10 is a little bit too expensive for you and you wanna have a lot of the features it has, then you can move on over into the Galaxy A80. I'll place a link for this phone below the video inside the description. It's unlocked. I got it off Amazon. Uh, it'll only work if you have AT&T or T-Mobile. It's the GSM networks. Uh, it won't work if you have CDMA networks, which means it will not work with Sprint or Verizon. So if you do have T-Mobile, AT&T, you can pick one of these up and you'll basically have a Galaxy Note 10 without the S Pen. Uh, so all the other fun stuff that the Note 10 would have is going to be built inside of the S Pen. And some of those is going to be air gestures when you take the S Pen and you're able to probably move things, change screens and draw stuff and do something with the S Pen when it's basically hovering over the screen and everything else, which is kind of what that little teaser was with the S Pen at the very beginning. And it showed the camera as well being the Infinity O display in the center. But really, other than that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. This was all of the findings I could find from this phone that is also going to be a part of the Galaxy Note 10. Let me know if you guys are going to get the Note 10, which version and why or why not. Other than that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe that little circle on the bottom left hand side share this video with your friends and family and social media sites and i'll see you guys later